Greetings, everybody. So glad to see you again, especially Mount Pleasant Baptist Church, Shreveport, Louisiana. Mount Pleasant members, I hope you're keeping up with the daily message that I've been recording and hoping that you're getting some encouragement from. Mount Pleasant members, I want you to know I love you and I miss you. And don't forget, you're supposed to say back to me, we love you too, Pastor. Our address is 6540 Line Avenue, and we are not actually having church in our traditional church house because of the crisis that our nation, our world, our state is in. We are actually worshiping from home. Mount Pleasant Church in your house. So your pastor is in your house this morning or in your location, your car, wherever you are. But again, we welcome you from beautiful Shreveport, Louisiana. We thank you for tuning in. And on the screen, there is a subscribe button. I think it's down into my left, the red button. I want you to hit the subscribe button. I want you to know that we are not together face to face because of this crisis, but we worship God wherever we are because when we worship God, we worship God in spirit and in truth. We're going to be back, and when we get back, we're going to be better than what we were from the beginning. But until then, I'll be looking at you through the media. You can see me, and I can see you even in the spirit. So glad to be in your house on today. Don't forget our mission is... Okay, you didn't say it loud enough. You know what our mission is. Preaching Jesus and what? Loving people. That's exactly right. Well, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God gave us Jesus, his Son, as our Savior. He is our Lord. And he is alive and still at the right hand of God. He is mediating. He is praying for us. He is making things right with God for us. So we are right with God because of a man named Jesus. Well, my message for you today, today is April the 1st, and my message today says, put the doubt out. Any doubt, any discouragement, put it out of your mind, put it out of your house. And I want to give you this quick example from Mark chapter 5. If you will, turn with me to Mark chapter 5. And in Mark chapter 5, there's this remarkable passage that has a, a whole lot of things going on. But I want to focus on a man named Jairus because Jairus was a ruler of the synagogue and he had a daughter that was ill. And what happened is that Jairus sought Jesus out because Jesus is a healer and Jesus is a deliverer. And he knew that the power was in this man named Jesus. And I hope you know the same thing. Not only is the power in Jesus, but God has given us the authority that Jesus had because when Jesus left, we are to continue his work. But I want to show you this principle about doubt that even Jesus noticed. Because we're in a crisis, there are a lot of people that have a lot of negative things to say. There are a lot of people that don't believe that God is able to bring us through this season. There are many times in the Bible that Things happen for a season, and this crisis that we're in with COVID is only for a season. We're going to be okay, and God is going to bring us out. Jairus had a daughter who was very ill, and he sought Jesus because he wanted healing for his daughter. On the way, Jesus, going to, Jesus was going to his house, and on the way, Jesus was interrupted by a lady who had an issue of blood. You remember the story about the multitude was thronging and all, everybody was crowded in on Jesus. He was on his way to Jairus' house and Jairus wanted his daughter healed, but Jesus took time to minister to people along the way. And this woman was that had an issue of blood caused Jesus to be slowed down from getting to the point where he was. But time does not stop our Lord from doing what he is going to do. On the way, Someone came to Jairus and told him that his daughter was dead. And so what happened is that Jesus told him in verse number 36, be not afraid, only believe. Be not afraid, 
only believe. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So what happened is that Jesus gave him a promise and gave him a word that said, don't fear, don't be afraid, don't give in to all of the doubt that could crowd your mind, but only believe, only take God at his word. And what happened in verse number 36, 37, the Bible says, and he suffered no man to follow him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. You got to make sure that doubt is not traveling along with you. Sometimes people's attitude and people's negative mouth will interrupt your faith process and, and cause your your, your faith to, to actually be hindered. So what you got to remember is that even Jesus didn't have just everybody traveling with him. Sometimes we have too much doubt in our ear. Sometimes there's too much doubt in our space around us. We have to remember Jesus' instructions were, be not afraid, only believe. Verse number 38, it says, and he coming to the house of the ruler, his name was Jairus. He saw the tumult and them that wept and wailed greatly because they thought it was all over. But it is never too late. It is never too late when God is on your side. Verse number 39. And when he was come in, come in where? When he was come in the house. And that's what the Lord is doing today is that he is allowing his word to come into your house with this message today. Put the doubt out of your house, out of your mind, out of your ear. When he was coming to the house, he saith unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. Some things are only for a time span. It's only for a season. It's only for a season, but it's also for a reason. Verse number 40 says, And they laughed him to scorn because they didn't believe it. But verse number 40 says, but when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother and the damsel and them that were with him, the disciples that believe, it says, and he entered in where the damsel was lying. And what happened is the next verse, Jesus spoke to this situation. He spoke to this young lady. And when Jesus gave the word for her to arise, this 12 year old who was really thought that to be dead she came to life and the victory happened God wants to give you the victory as well he charged them that no man should know it and then he told them that were with the damsel give her something to eat let her go on and go on with your life and that's what we have to remember is that the victory is in this man named Jesus but don't allow doubt and discouragement to get in your ear and your mind. God is faithful to his promise. He loves us and God has a good plan for our life. It's God's will that every one of us prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. But remember in this life sometimes we might go through seasons of crisis and seasons of difficulty but it is never too late with God. Put the doubt out. Don't be afraid. Only believe. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Allow God to get the victory in your life. Have a great day, Mount Pleasant. Remember, I love you. Our address is P.O. Box 80081 in Shreveport, Louisiana, and the zip code is 71148. Let me hear from you soon. Have a great day.